So guys, in this uh, part we will make our ball uh, pulse and this will be very short uh, part because I, I will keep the trail renderer uh, in the next part. So let's start. So let's see what uh, what stage we are right now. So basically we have a ball, we can uh, point at something, we have this line and uh, it's very smooth and you can shoot in that direction and the ball is too slow for me for now so i'll increase the speed of it so let's go to the player uh, let's increase the speed to be uh, where's the speed to be 20 and let me see if it's yeah 20 is okay so uh, what i want to do is to make a ball pulse uh, when we are holding the the mouse button so now it's very static uh, and we want to make it uh, shrink and expand. So let's go to the script and we will do it inside player VFX script. So let's double click on it. Okay, after you have it open, we will add a new section for uh, the ball. So let's go down, let's write space. So you'll have a space for the new variables and also you want to add a header which will be called uh, both variables variables that is very hard to say okay so what we will need is again an uh, animation curve uh, this is the way that i do uh, i know that other people other people they use animation for it so they make uh, animation for it and it will loop but I, I want to have a greater control over it so that's why I'm doing doing it uh, in the script and I like to script everything so uh, let's have an animation curve and we will call it expand curve also let's go down We'll have a public float expand amount and expand speed. And in order to make our ball grow, we need two free action, no, two or three, uh, three uh, private variables. So we will need a start size of our ball so we can reset it later after we release our mouse button. Uh, we'll also need a private target size. So we will calculate it at the beginning. And we will need a power private float, which will be our scroll amount. And I'll explain it later. So now let's go down to the start function. So uh, we will make a new function that we will be we will call it in inside start function. Let's call it init um, pulse effect variables. So inside here we will init yeah variables. So let's start from the start size. So let's assign the start size and it will be equal to our local scale. Or you can have lossy scale, which is global scale, but I like to use uh, local scale. And also we can calculate the target size and the target size will be our uh, start size multiplied by the expand amount that we will specify in inspector so let's call it from start function so in each both effect variables and now we can go down to make a new method and we can call it uh, make ball pulse it will be a void
uh, and it will be public because we will call it from the player controller. So inside make ball pulse function, we want to each frame because uh, make ball pulse we will call it inside update function uh, in player controller and we, will, we want to update the scroll amount so each frame we will add a time to it and it will be time the delta time and we want to multiply it by the speed so how fast it will shrink and grow up so that's its first thing and now each frame we uh, we want to get the value from our uh, from our our curve so let's make a local variable which will be float and we will call it uh, percent and we just want to take the evaluation amount from our curve so let's write expand curve that evaluate and we will pass in the scroll amount and that's how we get the value and at the end we want just to lerp from the start size to the end size so we want to change our local scale and we want to change local scale not global scale because i think that you you can't really change the uh global scale or you can but it's better to change the local local scale so we want to change it uh, by lerping so you will use vector 2.lerp we want to pass in uh, the init size which is our start size sorry for that we want to lerp till it's big so our target size and at the end we want to pass the time which is our percent and this should be it now let's go to our player controller script script and I can go I can open it from here but if you don't have this because I'm using Visual Studio Code you can go back to the project and just double click on it okay and now let's go to the update function uh, actually we go to a handle movement and we want to make it pause when it's uh, when we are holding the mouse button so here we will, we will call player vfx and we want to make ball pulse so it will pull, pulse 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 and now let's go to the project and let's see if it works so let's go to the player and let's see what we want to do so uh, we want to make a curve so basically we want our ball to go up and go down so I'll again select the curve that I made before you can uh, easily save the curves when you are uh, making them you can just click here and you can click on the new and it will be saved so uh, that's how you can create the presets so I have this curve and basically now I want to make it loop so you can just click on this cog icon cog and click on loop and as if you scroll zoom out you can see that it will loop so after you reach one it will keep going and it will basically loop itself uh, to the infinity so it will be uh, initial size it will go to the maximum size and again and again and again so expand the amount i want to maybe now expand it by one 1.5 so you can see it and expand speed will be 5 so let's see if it works I will maximize the window and now let's click as you can see it works very well and you can of course change the the speed and the amount of scrolling but uh, we have to change one thing I don't know if you can see it but sometimes if I release it at the good point you can see that the ball is now smaller and if I release it when it's big it will it will be bigger so uh, to fix that we just have to reset the ball position not ball position ball 
scale at the beginning when we clicked our input or or actually we can reset it when we release our mouse button so let's go to the player vfx and let's go at the end we want to make a public function uh, which returns nothing so it will be void and we will call it resell reset ball size and inside here we just want to reset our uh, scale so we will access transform that local scale and we will assign our init size which was our start size and also uh, you don't have to do that but I, I like to reset also the scroll amount because uh, I like to keep it on small numbers because if you will have your game going very long very long this scroll amount can go to very high very high number and at some point it will reach its maximum number uh, maximum memory of the float and it may crash or something so that's why I'm uh, resetting it inside here so now after we have it done we can go back to the player controller and we will call it after we uh, change our active state of the dot you can actually call it just inside the release you you don't have to call it in a specific place so we set both sides and now if I'm right it should work so let's go back and let's see if it works I will change the expand amount to be very high so it will be 5 so we can see if it works so remember the this is the initial size if you click on it you can see it's very big it's going very fast and if I release it it will always uh, reset its position and yeah it's working so now let's change it to the normal number so uh, you can also actually make it uh, shrink down if you change it to be a smaller uh, number than one so it, it can shrink down as you can see here and make it subtle make it uh, small don't make it very big so I'll keep it on 0 0.6 it's okay I think yeah it's looking fun it's looking nice so uh, that will be it for this part guys and in next part we will make a tray which is the most boring part but uh, I will show you guys so thank you and see you guys bye